Here's how I make this blurry cube here in Photoshop. All right, so I'm gonna go with this artboard size and let's select the rectangle and make sure that the white is on the top. And I'm gonna press and hold shift, create a rectangle. And let's go to the stroke, make sure that you don't have anything on the stroke, click on the none and go to the fill. And I'm gonna go and select the gradient from here. Now let's go and set up the gradient angle. Here you can set up the angle. I'm gonna go somewhere on minus 130. And let's recolor the handles. So this is the black. I'm also gonna switch this. So I'm gonna switch the colors with this button. So now I can see the black is on the bottom left. Now I'm gonna select the black, push it a little bit to the right and double click on the handle. And this way you can go and switch up the colors. I'm gonna go with the dark purple, click OK. I'm gonna go and add another handle here, double click on it. Let's go and change up the color again. And I'm gonna go with a red pink, click OK and add another one. And I'm gonna bring it somewhere here, double click on it. And I'm gonna change this to orange, a stronger orange, click OK. It should look something like this. Now I'm gonna go to the filter, blur and select motion blur. Let's click on convert to smart object and make sure that the angle is on minus 45 degree angles. And here you can increase or decrease the distance. Give the illusion to make it look like a box, but I'm gonna go with 380. Click OK. I also wanna emphasize this box better and make this area. So I'm gonna go and select the rectangle again and create another rectangle here. Press and hold Shift. And I'm gonna create a rectangle inside of this light square, as you can see here. And for this, I'm gonna go to the filter, blur and select Gaussian blur. Convert a smart object and I'm gonna increase it and I'm gonna make it nice and blurry. I'm gonna go somewhere around 20, click OK. I'm also gonna scale it up a little bit, press Control T, press and hold Shift plus Alt and scale it. So there you go, it should look something like that. I'm also gonna mask this. Let's go and click on the mask and let's select the brush tool, make sure that you're on the black. And I'm gonna increase the brush size and remove some of these areas here. You also can go to the opacity, decrease it to somewhere around 50, 40. So this way it will not remove it 100%. And I'm also gonna decrease the opacity a little bit. So I'm around 70 and I'm gonna press Control J on this to duplicate. I'm gonna press Control T. I'm also gonna scale it down a little bit more and position it to make it even more glowy. And I'm gonna select the mask. And with the brush, probably I'm gonna remove a little bit more like so. And I'm also thinking to reduce the blur on this. So I'm gonna double click on the Gaussian blur here on this layer and try it out with less blur. Check this out. So this actually looks even better. I'm gonna click OK. I'm also gonna add some noise. I'm gonna press and hold Alt and click on the new layer button here. I rename it as noise. Let's change up the mode to overlay. Check the fill with overlay neutral color. Click OK. Right click on the layer, convert to smart object. And let's go to the filter, noise, add noise. I'm gonna go somewhere around 10, click OK. And now but least, I'm also gonna go to the adjustments and select the hue saturation and maybe increase the saturation a little bit more and probably gonna add a little bit plus eight on the saturation. So this is how the final result looks like and thanks for watching.